Okay, here we go. Argentina up against Australia. Almost must win time here for the Aussies. So early in the tournament as well. And it's Argentina putting pressure on at the kickoff and they will come back with it as well. Kelly on the other side as well. Not rolling the call. Yeah, not rolling away. They're getting really strict now around that rock area. They want fast ball. They want the ball to be playable. And if you've got a defender who's made a tackle and still down on the ground, not making an effort to roll away, then that's just another body in the way of the rock. It's making things messy. And you will get penalised for it. Watch the movement as we go. Crouch. Bind. Bind. Set. Levain finds many motion across the left. They're looking for an early strike here, and Gonzalez blasts his way over for the opener. That was a lovely run behind the scrum there, almost hiding. That real late run caught the defence just off guard. Here you go, coming round, full pace, waiting until he can see the hips of the Australian defender there, just turning in. That's when you know you've got him, that's when you release the ball. Conversion attempt from wide out, catches the post and Australia dodge any further damage. Levine again floats it up and again Argentina flood through and win it back. That was Gonzalez on they come through Alvarez and it's back to back scores for Argentina. Twelve nil the score. Under three played. It's been all Los Pumas. And again they pull it in. Beautiful hands up high from Osadzu. That one's out, so Australia can push up now. Levine. Going out the back, inviting the switch, can't find it, then loses it. So finally, he's trying to get the hands on the ball. Here is Clements, sending it away quickly. Over in the direction of Lawson. That one bounces up in the hands of Gonzalez. Malouf. A floaty for Clements. Looking towards Roach. He'll go in and tidy up. Australia bunch. Argentina's line well set. And did look out and wasn't. So Australia got the penalty. What can they do with it? Gonzalez. Malouf. They shut down the angle on his pass. He rolls one forward. Good work there from Clements to get in and secure possession. Roach. Met low by Gonzalez. Lawson. Clements. Rips one over the top there. Trouble here. Massive trouble for Australia. They scramble back and touch it down we're coming back though for 22 dropout a 22 dropout gee they got lucky with that one they got really lucky with that one if you're gonna stand that deep your passing has to be crisp roach charge down with the 22 restart back with gonzalez who scored the first try the errors compounding here for australia turner rushes up makes the tackle but it's going to sit there for Mineta who's almost unstoppable with his wicked feet and pace and he spins his way to another try in Dubai oh Mineta how good is this boy 
I think he almost likes it when everyone else is on the ground and out of the way. But here, this charge down, what is going on there? You've got to look at who's in front of you. You don't go taking a drop kick when you've got a six-foot person stood right in front of you. That'd be frustrating for the Australian fans, but <clears throat> don't want to take anything away from the individual skill set here. Well, just watching Marcos Moneta go about his work again <laughs> as we start up another series makes you appreciate how good Isgro, Rodrigo Isgro was last year for Argentina to win the World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year award yes. over this man who yes. was also nominated because this bloke is an A1 freak. Okay, Malouf takes it. Can they work their way into Argentina's half with ball in hand? Australia, Roach rips it over to Turner. It gets ugly and it goes in a touch. Johnny Manini will be furious with what's been offered up thus far. Australia, your mark. Yeah. Roche is just trying to force it, isn't he? I think he's trying to make up from the earlier drop goal, put in a bit of a miracle pass there, but Open, not please. a one. Open. <laughs> Inside the 22, please. Go, you know, okay. Thank you. grab from Alvarez Gonzalez he's taken some stopping he's been a real handful and frees up Mineta again and Mineta the money man claims another try It's possibly the worst way to start for Australia. You know that chat at half time would have been about respecting the ball, cut down the errors. Please, when I say bye, make sure you bye. Yeah. Okay. I'll be louder. Lower. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, Philippa, as well, is if you're not going to get the win, you've got to be thinking a way to somehow try and jag a losing bonus Set. point to at least give yourself a shot at rolling Spain later today and maybe staying alive in the hunt for a cup quarter final spot. But the way things are going at the moment, that looks a long, long, long way off for the Aussies as they're forced to defend in their own territory again and Mineta comes on hard and fast. This time around, he switches play back to Gonzalez who loses it. So they go through the legs. Who can create here? Roach out wide. Roach with a stop and go. Dietrich Roach gets into the backfield and should have enough to go all the way and does. Okay, here's a start. Roach will go in under the posts. And Henry Palmer, the <whistles> debutant trailing. And 26 5 is a score kick to come. How badly did they need that? Too, but credit to, to Roach really backed himself on that outside edge little bit of a skip on it just evades the contact that's more of the Dietrich hey, Roach that Aussie Sevens fans Where have come I? to know and love over recent seasons he's been so good for them long bottom He's just going a touch of miss in that first half, not just for Roach, but for the entire Aussie setup. So they've pulled seven back off the deficit. Longbottom goes low and hangs on to Gonzalez, who's been a real bruiser, committing a number of defenders. Lawson chases the tackle and makes enough of an effort to make the stop. Schultz up over halfway. That one lost forward by Moneta. Look to be lost forward by Mineta. No, it's gone the other way. So, 
knock-on advantage here for the Pumas. Maret stopping and going. Bouncing one towards the touchline. Good work from Palmer going front on and running. Alvarez towards the touchline. Now Australia look to have got their second three sergeant. Coming upstairs for a look. Guys, you have clean possession. Listen, listen to me. You have clean possession. It's only a scrum advantage. Advantage is over. Yeah. You may award the try. Well, it was all about the Australian the errors in the first on, half, but now is the Argentinian errors. You know what? Sometimes in sevens, you need a little bit of luck. And at the moment, that luck is going Australia's way. Well, they're creating a lot of it themselves as well, aren't they, Philip? So 26, 12. Time's still going. I've not had any calls, so. The conversion call comes late. 26 14 now. All the play anchored to the left of your screens. Incredible. Argentina looking to roll it forward through Wade. Australia in fringe of the breakdown. And now Argentina look to just pull back some of that tempo and just slow things down. Up by 12, three to go. Number three. Decent kick for touch there. Again, I think this is just game management, choosing to go for that line okay. out, slow things down. Time off, you can hear some of the up. Australian players saying, what's He's going on, what's the call? They want to bring that tempo back in. Yeah, time is off. Yeah, bro, I've got it, They're making subs, don't worry. Okay, time back on, please. Big moment coming up here for the Aussies as Lawson gets in there and will look to disrupt the line out. Can they turn the Argentinians away again? Good handling from Alvarez. Marek sends play back towards the line out. Alvarez held there by Lawson. Mare. Australia come on the slide and do a good job in defence. And they work it to the edges. Argentina working that clock as well. Good low shot there from Palmer. Not rolling with the call. Goes against Palmer. And Argentina. Again, we'll just slow things down and now look to touch. Use the five, please, Australia. Use the five. Yeah. It's on the clock. They can get the ball in the hands of that youngster. He can really light things up. He moves with real pace. This is the blue tournament. Palmer. They've got to defend now, though, Australia. Argentina looking to ice it. Mixing up the jump, going to the front, round the corner. Goes Mantefa. Wide now. Palmer's really got a scoot. Mineta on the angle. And he'll score and he'll seal it for Los Pumas. That all came from the quickness of the offload of the first contact. When Argentinian player went short but managed to get that wraparound. Watch it here now. He goes short. That just pulls in the Australian defenders. That's what creates the overlap.
Step back, step back, please. Uh, Gant, just step back for me, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Atento que entra, entra en alto, eh. Crouch. Bind. Set. In. Driving round Australia. Italy Argentina now, and it's up to them how they want to close the game out. Do they take a shot at goal? Touch. Touch it is. And Australia in some bother.